it's Sadie and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my YouTube video home studio setup and I'm just going to be walking you through all the equipment that I use. So obviously behind me here you can see my green screen. So I will be showing you where I bought that, how expensive it is, and how you can try to get it for free. So let's get going. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through this. So this is just the area, it's in my basement, it's not ginormous, don't mind these little weird posters here, they're mascots, obviously, I don't know. Um, so the green screen is obviously the main part, and it's not ginormous, but it's definitely a good length to film. And the lighting situation here is definitely not great, as there's windows right there that bring in a ton of light, which is good, but it's a little too much at times. And there's a lot of extra like green screen fabric that is sometimes a little bit too much. So obviously the first thing here is the green screen. So this I got maybe two years ago and I mainly use it for my comedy skits, like channel trailer, that kind of type of stuff. Um, my other videos I film in my bedroom, like my lifestyle videos, that kind of stuff. So that is in there. So this, I think, was bought on Amazon. It also came with a set of lights, which unfortunately I'm pretty sure broke. So <laughs> there's that. Um, this was actually quite expensive, if I am gonna be honest with you, but I know there are ways that you can get it for free. There's a ton of videos out there about that. I'm pretty sure you just need to get a type of cloth. I will list it above. Um, that you need to get it and then you also I think you need stands like I have right here these stands and clamps to hold it together obviously though there are this is a little pro tip here a ton of wrinkles in it so another thing that you may want to get is multiple of these clamps mine only came with two there's one on that side one on this so if you get multiple you can kind of bundle it up together and like hold it together and make it taut, taut, whatever, and push it in. So there's less wrinkles. So when you are filming, it's less like wrinkly, if you know what I mean. Um, another thing about the green screen is I used this app a long time ago called Doink. I think it cost maybe $3 in the Apple store, but recently I was kind of sick of it because it was kept glitching. There were a ton of like bugs that needed to be fixed and they just weren't getting fixed and it was old and I was like, I need something new. And I remembered that there was iMovie. I remember seeing that you could edit green screen in iMovie and you can. I also made a video about that if you do want to go watch that. So um, moving on here, I'm going to show you my prop box. Okay, so right here is this prop box that has a ton of props that I use for um, comedy skits. I actually have two of these. One is behind the green screen. There's a ton of other like costumes and things in there. I was actually thinking as a fun video to film later is one just um, showing you everything in my prop box because there's a ton of wacky things in there. Um, also, right here is this stool that I use a ton of the time to just sit in front of the green screen here and film. All right, we're gonna go through the microphones kind of quickly because I have like no iPhone storage. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we have this boom mic that was supposed to work with my Canon Vixa camcorder, but it did work and now it doesn't anymore, which is really unfortunate because it's pretty nice. The next microphone, this is the Samson HXD1 and it goes with this little thingy here. This one works with the iPad or iPhone, works pretty well. And you have to get the Apple lighter. I will add the link and stuff. So this one definitely works well. I definitely like this one. It's probably the only mic that actually works. So highly recommend getting the Samson HXD1. Works well. All right, this is the next one here. This is a Comica, something like that. This, <laughs> shocker, does not work. Um, it like, there's does no difference. It's supposed to work with an iPad or actually the Canon Vixa because there's an outlet for it too does not work. It really makes no difference. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. It just really doesn't do anything. All right, the last mic is the TriStar. It's supposed to work for the Canon Vixa. It looks like this. There's a little outlet here. Um, I got this one one day last year. It was like $25, something around that, on Amazon. The instructions came and it was all in Chinese, so <laughs> that was fun. 
And the one problem though, I think the sound quality actually worked if I do remember. The problem was that um, there was no place to put it on top of the camcorder. So that was unfortunate. All right, all, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it and make sure to stay tuned for next week's video and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Bye.